What's going on everyone? It's Ethan with Second Life Gaming. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to get these wings you see right here. They are called the Cape of Wings and pretty much all they do is you take less falling damage and you can jump twice as high. So they are they are kind of useful and especially when you go ahead and pair them with the Crushing Leap you can jump insanely far. It's crazy. That's actually going to be in our tips and tricks video when we come out with that one. But to ha how to get these wings is the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to follow farm this boss. Now this boss is right here, the world's end. It is a low chance of a drop, but it's a blueprint you're looking for, it's not the wings. So we're going to keep killing them over and over again until we get the blueprint to drop in. Once I have that blueprint drop for you guys, I will be right back. Alright guys, as you can see right there, we just had the Cape of Wings drop. That was a total of 5 runs that it took me to get those Cape of Wings. We're going to go ahead and learn them real quick, because I actually have not learned them on this character. Kevin has been making me buy wings because I haven't wanted to come farm for them yet. So, we're doing this together here. Come over here to Armor, and you just scroll down all the way down to Drafting Table 4. So you're going to need a Drafting Table 4 to make these, and these require... 20 crystal thread, 4 refined sun diamonds, and 4 energy crystals. So this is how you're going to make them. So we're going to go ahead and go to the drafting table and get these materials and we'll be right back. First we're going to get the materials that we need. So the location that we're going to be traveling to is Glimmer Glen. And here you can actually farm 2 of the 3 materials you're going to need. You're going to need crystal thread and you're also going to need sun diamonds. You're going to need 20 crystal thread and you're going to need 4 fine sun diamonds. So if you come here, you can get the sun diamonds from here. There's going to be these little yellow triangles in the ground. Go ahead and farm all these. And then these giant green crystals here are going to be what gives you the crystal thread. So we're going to go ahead and be farming 20 of those. And we're going to be farming the sun diamonds. We're going to currently need... Go down to Alter, to make a ref one Refined Summon Diamond, you're going to need two Sun Diamonds. So to make four Refined Summon Diamonds, we're going to need eight Sun Diamonds. So once you farm eight of the Sun Diamonds on this island, and you farm 20 of the Crystal Dead, we'll move on to the next area where you're going to be getting Energy Crystals. The first thing you're going to want to do is take those sun diamonds you have and bring them to your at least tier 3 altar. You're going to need at least a tier 3 altar and at least a tier 4 drafting station to make these. Your tier 3 altar, you're going to be making your refined sun diamonds. So take your 8 sun diamonds you farmed over to your tier 3 altar and go ahead and make your 4 refined sun diamonds. Now I do want to go over the energy crystals real quick because that is going to be the biggest pain to get out of everything. There's two ways you can get, well, three ways you can get energy crystals, but you're going to at least need to have one to do the third way. The first and second way you can do them to farm them is events. So in your top left of your map, you'll see how it says Nectar of Earth. These are events. You do these events and you have a chance to get a one or two energy crystals once you complete the events. The second way to do them is to farm the tomb of, I'm probably going to butcher this, the tomb of Cephalus. Let's go over to the block real quick. Where you need to... This is the tomb of Cephalus. Or this is the item you're going to need to make. Now it does cost one energy crystal, so you're going to have to farm the events first to get that one energy crystal to make this. But you can come out of this with five to six energy crystals. Even sometimes I've, I've done runs where I've got upwards of eight to ten energy crystals. It's always going to be random how many you do. You're going to make this and you're going to run through the tomb. There's different ways to get energy crystals in there. They can drop off the trash mobs. They can drop off the, you'll see little coffins on the wall. You can destroy those. 
and then also the ending boss always drops two of them. So you can farm anywhere between 4 to 10 running through this and you can keep farming it till you have enough to make your Cape of Wings. We will be putting a video out of the tomb and the best way to farm any crystals inside the tomb and also to farm the blueprints because you get a lot of your armor and weapon blueprints from this tomb. So we will be putting a tomb video out soon on how to run it depending on what you're trying to get out of that. But once you got your energy crystals, you got your sun diamonds, and you have your crystal thread. Let me help there. You're going to be coming over to your drafting station. You're going to go down to drafting table 4, and there's your cable wings. Go to craft these. Uh, we're not going to wait for these to craft because they take 300 seconds to craft. But you can see right here, this is... I'm going to take them off so you can see what a normal jump is. This would be a normal jump. And this is a jump with the cable wings. Now you can do pretty cool things when you mix it with the crushing leap. You can jump and leap and you can fly really far. But we're going to go over in that and I'll trick video. I am Ethan, this is Second Life Gaming and thank you for watching.